Hello everybody, this is Tim from Boatshare Drop Brokers and welcome on board this Bruce Roberts 36 Spray for a look around her interior in detail. And uh, I think you'll agree as I'm going around, this is a very, very special feeling boat. But I'll let you make up your own mind. So here we are, we're looking, we're standing in the in the, the raised deck saloon and we're looking aft towards the cockpit. And as you can see, lovely wide, lovely tall companionway there. The doors fold back out of the way and very nice and easy to get in. And once you get in, uh, we've got a good... Uh, 5 11 perhaps six feet inside here very nice looking deck head this boat smells clean she is exceptionally clean um, even the lockers are clean inside and all in order she has been very well looked after you can see we have lovely windows everywhere all the way around this compartment so great for watch keeping or if you're alongside brilliant for letting lots of light and air in and out and really enjoying those views over the the neighboring boats etc um, as we come in the companionway small lip there great that'll give us a little bit of a thwart ship strength and also a lip to avoid any uh, water coming in from the cockpit but uh, that shouldn't happen anyway and uh, we, we can see we have a smattering of safety gear around the companionway all in the right place and within reach which is lovely thank you mr boat person who's banging away and as we come into the uh, deck saloon on the right hand side here you can see we've got the uh, the, the nav station, which will double up as some kind of table or sideboard once you're in. Uh, we've got lovely forward-facing seating there. I think the storage below as well. We've got a really nice big, uh, I think a full-size chart table here as well. Really, really nice and deep. So lots of room inside there for your bits and pieces. We have a yeoman chart plotter being used there as well. We've got a very handy little... Uh, um, publications magazine rack or canterbury or the fiddle shelf at the back there a small electrics panel here we've got a clock as well and as you can see we've got uh, the uh, the st6000 control there too so all nice and handy for the person doing the nav all the bits and pieces the bits and pieces you'd want near there and of course really nice and easy to shout out or bellow out to the cockpit there to uh, give them their new course etc etc so very handy indeed Nice light wood in here on the deck head and all the way around. It really is a very nice place to be. So uh, look, moving forward from there, we've got a small shelf here with little fiddles on as well. So that's good for your pencils, your rubbers, your uh, paper clips, all that kind of stuff. And that takes us to the helm area or the forward helm area. We can steer from inside or outside here. This is a, a hydraulic system here. Outside is uh, mandraulic or uh, mechanical. And uh, as you can see, we've got a nice seat here for one, perhaps uh, room for the, the first mate there to perch on the end. We have a footrest nestling down there. You can see we've got a 240 volt socket twin with USB charge chargers and everywhere on this boat where they they can cram in storage as you can see down there uh, they have there are there are holes or gaps in the floor absolutely everywhere for for storage and also lockers all over the place lovely feature wheel we've got uh, some controls we've got some electrical uh, switches and isolators and the the bilge pump alarm etc on the right hand side there looking up we've got a nice big fiddled shelf for your cups of tea etc we've got the engine throttle We've got the wind speed, we've got the NASA instrument here, and uh, we've got the uh, the engine controls or the engine start-stop warnings, uh, oil temp, oil pressure and fresh water temperature there, as well as the, uh, the voltmeter. And under here we have got the DSC VHF, all the bits and pieces again that you would need in an area like this. So when it's all raining and everyone else is sitting in their cockpits outside, we just move in here and we've got uh, lovely big windows, lovely head height, we've got the heating on and we can steer and helm the vessel in absolute comfort. Absolutely lovely. Looking down at the floor, you can see we've got nice wooden flooring, looks in good shape. There, there's obviously evidence of wear and tear, but um, looking very, very good for her age. And then if we lift this carpet up, we have a hatch beneath there where we've got the, uh, the Lister engine down there, four cylinder, Lister Petter Marine sitting there in a nice big compartment, so lots of room to get around it to work on. So your engineers will thank you, which is lovely. And uh, underneath here, we can get to gearbox, we can get to stern gear, etc., etc., as it makes its way back towards the stern of the boat. So looking forwards, you can see the companion way we'll come up and finish up here shortly but uh, it's a really nice easy companion way to get down we have handholds port and starboard we've got the opening window up front as well which is lovely but uh, once we go down here we find ourselves in the lower saloon and again you can see what a lovely space it is it's beautifully clean smells great and there is stowage everywhere and uh, again it has been really looked after 
by her owners. Now, we do get these boats coming along. At Boat Shed, we love all boats naturally, but every now and again, something rather special pops along. And this is one of those boats that really makes you uh, realise what uh, a fantastic job I'm in because I get to, to go around and have a look. Anyway, less about me. As we come down the companionway, nice and easy, one, two, three steps down. We have a nice big hanging locker here, goes all the way down to here. So plenty of room in there for your wellies, etc. Starting at the top, lovely deck head. Couple of windows, one opener. We've got uh, one opener starboard, one opener port. Uh, we've got uh, some safety equipment here. We've got the, the rack here. All of these nice touches just abound everywhere. We have uh, somewhere for the kettle to plug in. We've got cupboards at the back. We have uh, cupboards below the sink and uh, underneath here. And as you can see, the owners have appointed the cupboards really, really nicely with uh, something really handy and practical to uh, to use in there. Something to, somewhere to store your cleaning gear. Nice cooker on gimbals as well. We've got four burners here, which is lovely. And uh, I think we have a grill under there as well which is fantastic uh, over to the forward end of the galley we've got uh, the sink with the drainer we have more storage underneath as well and uh, it looks like we have a, a work surface cover here for the sink i believe to be confirmed but generally speaking lots of room we, we've even got hangers for our ladles etc lots of room along here it's a linear galley so um, you can stand here and wash stand here and cook and people can people should be able to get past you and into the after cabin this way and down to the seating here without intruding too much on the people doing the important work down there and of course while you're cooking or while you're doing a washing up you've got a lovely view out of the window just perfectly placed there Moving forwards, you can see uh, what I didn't mention here is it looks like we have a mass support here. Uh, that's going to be something good and uh, solid to hang on to as you as you bump your way around in, uh, in 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 the weather. And beneath the carpet tiles here, we have got good access to the bilge as well, uh, all important. And uh, it's just a case of pulling up one or two tiles and they go down again nice and easily, no problem at all. Moving forward, you can see we have got this door here, which leads through to the nice big heads compartment. Again, nice and bright. We're whitewashed throughout by the look. So we've got some nice wood in here on the starboard after corner we've got uh, a nice sink with a bit of work surface that shower head does lift out and uh, is place there so you've got yourself a nice shower and everything that comes out of there goes out of there and off you goes down there and into the shower drain tank very handy indeed we have a mirror up there as well and a cupboard beneath the sink so lovely and uh, if we're in the shower we can draw this curtain across to stop all the water getting through there and you'll see you'll notice that we have uh, nice curtains everywhere nice little stowages like this all over the place all made by her current owner and it just really gives it that nice finished off look and they do look nice and clean and uh, really really just finish off the interior of the boat anyway down here we've got the the white throw the head there so you'll be aft facing if you're using this uh, or if you're sitting down in here but there does seem to be plenty of room for gentlemen to stand and ladies to sit if that's what's required and uh, generally a nice place to be plenty of room so let's close the door on that and move forward to the forward cabin area it's not a separate cabin but we do have a curtain again which does seem to coordinate with all the other curtains and the cushions etc which is lovely as we go in we've got a nice wide aperture plenty of head height up here we can see we've got a, a mirror onto the uh, the coach sorry a mirror a hatch up to the coach roof there with a blind as well and we have steps up to that hatch as well so if we needed to escape or get out of here looks like we can and uh, yeah it looks like a very comfortable nice wide long berth for two down here it does narrow towards the forward end there but uh, there does seem to be plenty of room for uh, two sets of toes down there without too much playing about. We have a nice big uh, locker on the starboard side there with the canvas cover, a fiddle above there too. We have access, I, th I assume that's to the anchor locker. I've not looked in there yet, but I will do. And we have a nice fiddle shelf along the port side there for your bits and pieces, your books, your handkerchiefs, etc., and a window to the port side too. So very nice uh, area. And it does look really nice and bright as you can see. Now moving back into the saloon, on the forward bulkhead, we've got the uh, the clock and barometer, weather station, we've got some lights, etc. And if I just turn around to give you a better view, you can see we've got a U-shaped seating area. We have storage below. We've got a nice, uh, decent sized saloon table, which does open out and uh, give it uh, another third size again. On the outboard side, so on the port side, we have a sliding doors cupboard here. Let's have a quick look in there. There we go, lots of room, nice and deep. And we have stereo speakers down here and in the cockpit. And then moving aft, you can see we've got the stereo, we have a fiddled uh, sh shelf area. We can see the opening window above. There's the deck head again and the curtains. Really, really nice. Just move around the uh, 
support post there and uh, you can see the other speaker panel we've got the voltage and then we've got a small utility area which is really useful actually we've got a, a nice microwave set in there big size fridge there too nice and easy to get at so uh, really handy for those longer stays on board or even the weekends a little bit more safety equipment on the port aft corner of this compartment that leads us nicely into the aft cabin and it is a cabin we do have a curtain again lovely coordinated and we have a, a concertina door here which will close the occupants in or keep the non-occupants out whichever way you'd like to think of it but once we're in we have a nice uh, tall uh, hanging locker here and we've got uh, the sails in here at the moment so these are the four sails in, in place there i think i don't think they've been used since they've been laundered so they're folded away in a very nice way and stored down here on the berth now the berth is as wide as uh, the cabin looks from here to here and it does jut under there quite a long way so looks like uh, really good accommodation for two for a weekend or longer or just overnight and then on the forward bulkhead here you can see we've got a nice uh, shelved unit with a cupboard underneath and uh, to finish off if we look up we can see we've got a nice opening window so plenty of ventilation coming from there and also a small ventilator there from the deck saloon very nice indeed if you're wondering Tim from Boatshed Yacht Brokers really loves this boat. She is an eye turner and to find accommodation like this, so clean and nice is rare, but we love it. Back up to the lovely sunny deck saloon. I'll start at the forward end, you can see uh, we've got a, a nice area here, which could be an alternative navigation station if you wanted to um, repurpose the actual navigation station. But I don't know why I'm saying that, because that would be pointless. But uh, we've got a lovely big shelving area or somewhere to uh, work with a pen and pencil or whatever you'd like. But uh, it's there, ready for use and easy to get at. Again, oh, so light and bright in here. Absolutely fantastic. And on the port side, you can see we've got uh, U-shaped seating, storage beneath, of course. Nice, decent size saloon table here and uh, generally speaking a great view of the rest of the marina absolutely lovely so this has been tim from boatshed drop brokers is taking you for a quick tour of the interior of this bruce roberts spray 36 thanks for watching i hope you've got a really great idea as to what it's like to be inside this boat and uh, i will probably stay here a little bit longer because it's just a nice place to be thanks for watching take care see you soon